Well, tonight our series on Central Texas Mysteries takes us to the city of Marlin, where rumors about a once popular hotel have left some residents with a hair raising story to tell. I'm a little nervous to read this, Leslie. Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell caught up with a man who says paranormal activities happen in a certain part of town and how the city is moving to shed a more positive light on the area. Ooh. Well, Chris and Leslie, Marlin, Texas was once a booming town that attracted people from all over the country. It was known for its mineral water that could heal you and relax you. But its glory days are long gone, and one resident claims as businesses moved out, ghosts moved in. Every town has its legend. Every town has its story. Yeah, sometimes on bright nights, spooky things can happen. And the city of Marlin is no different. John has lived in Marlin all his life. He wanted his identity hidden, but he said he knows of at least one haunted spot in Marlin, the Falls Hotel. Like I said, we could be the only ones in there, and you could hear somebody walking in and out of the rooms, or if you're downstairs, you can hear someone upstairs walking around. The 110-room hotel was built in 1929 as a Hilton hotel. In fact, it was the eighth hotel built by Conrad Hilton. It was connected to the Marlin bathhouse by an underground tunnel. We actually had, you know, felt like something, we heard something kind of run towards us one night. Of course, we were kids, we were teenagers, and took off running out, out, the, <laughs> out the second floor window, climbing down the staircase real quick, going, what was that? I don't know, man, but, you know. Yeah, it was really, it was really crazy. It was, it was um, part of your imagination, I guess, but, you know, some, some things you did here. Today, the hotel sits vacant and is primarily used for office space. It's owned by Marlin resident Chris Martinez, who said he's been in every room in the building and has never seen a ghost. The hotel is like a lot of buildings in downtown Marlin that seem abandoned and look mysterious. But Berlin Terry with the Marlin Chamber of Commerce says they are trying to bring more business to town. We're really excited because we can see movement out near the bypass. We're having an arrival come to town and um, I just like to drive by and see that something's happening out there and it's not a vacant lot. John says he would be happy to see Marlin the way it was back in his heyday and even though some may not believe him, John is sticking to his story about ghosts at the Falls Hotel. Of course my friends thought I was, like I said, thought I was crazy. Oh man, oh man, oh yeah dude, <laughs> for real. The owner of the Falls Hotel did not want to speak on camera, but he did say he is in the process of beautifying the building. He's fixing the broken windows on each floor and hopes that one day the building will thrive again. Chris and Leslie.